Hey guys, Slash Off Dazzle here. We're gonna explain some. Here we're gonna explain some upcoming first stage and solo related videos coming to the channel, like being mixes, possibly another Mountain Dew co countdown, etc. And so, um, the first one I'm is not really a soda, but kind of is. Um, first taste of vitamin water, strawberry, banana. I've the roster in New York Seven Eleven has this in fountain form. I do not think it's the only exclusive there. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so anyway. I th actually, I do think this all in bottles near me. I thought it was nasty. See, I hate strawberry, banana flavored anything. That just, I thought it was gross. But you know what? I know you guys will be entertained by it, so I'll definitely try it. Same goes to the blueberry pomegranate water, vitamin water. I thought it's nasty as well. Um, others, um, I might do these at school. At least Diet Crush, I'm probably going to do at school, as they saw my school's. Name machine, that sounds disgusting. Sting, I will do a taste on that, alright, I'm not looking forward to it. Um, Mountain Dew Kickstart Limeade is a narrow one I plan to try. I've heard from someone rocking, I've heard from Avery that it's not very good, and that sounds gross. Just recently, just last week, I tried the Mountain Dew Kickstart Blade of Hunger, and that was nasty as hell. I might do a second taste on that, but probably not for another two years, that was just god awful. And, um, just for the hell of it, and just because I know you guys will, be, will probably be laughing your fucking ass off, but Sprite Zero Vanilla Second Taste will be coming out in either March or April. Yep, I'm doing it just so, just so you guys can shake your pants. Not doing it because I want to, but, you know, I love you guys, so, why not? As horrible as it was the first time, um... Second taste of Fence Zero Orange will probably be coming out because I've had it. I remember it being pretty awful, but I have not had it since um, 2012 when I first, well, since, ever since my first time using a Coke Freestyle machine at my local movie theater. But I'm um, a member of it. It was pretty bad. And same with regular Sprite Zero. Now, I've had a few other awful Sprite Zero flavors since, but I haven't had the regular since, just because I know it's gross. But um, Sprite Zero. Second taste will probably be coming up soon as well. And uh, Christmas, and on Christmas, if I get the stash of Game Fuel, I'll probably do a mix of Mango Heat and Citrus Shire. That sounds pretty interesting, actually. And then upcoming, and then uh, like just uh, an upcoming list of like best Mountain Dews I've had. Like things will probably change, and probably a few of them will well I'll make it onto the list. Yes, I'm including Kickstarts this time. I've had a few of them. I've Decide not to last time making an exception this time just to make the video more interesting. Figured I'd like to see that and so on. Uh, yeah. And I will include every Mountain Dew flavor I've had, even those that I know are gonna be at the very bottom was like Diet and Blueberry Hungry and Kickstart. But um uh, I'm I might not wait till New Year's Day to do that. I'm probably just gonna wanna do that like right after Christmas because I can't wait much longer, but I wanna try such a sherry again. Just so I can see if it places higher because it probably will. Now I think about it, now I think I might like ba more than Baja and Pitch Black, but I'm not positive. But um, that's what I'm thinking right now. But I definitely do not like it more than Soul Flare. And so, uh, yeah, I do like it more than Mango Heat though. All Mango Heat is underrated as hell in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for um, this video. Um, Sasha Dan signing off.